Welcome back guys, things are not looking good for Ubisoft, Assassin's Creed Shadows has been delayed. Now it will be released in February 2025. Ubisoft has confirmed that Star Wars Outlaws sales have been soft. It's their recently launched AAA game, priced at 70 US dollars. In case you don't already know, Assassin's Creed Mirage was first released on PC platform in October 2023, but it was not launched on Steam Store, only available on Epic Games and Ubisoft Connect platforms. A year after the game's original release on PC platform, the game will be released on Steam Store this month. I am expecting it to be released with a discount of 50-60%. to 60%. We have seen something similar happening in the case of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. This game is set in 9th century Baghdad during the Islamic Golden Age, in particular during the Anarchy at Samara. The story follows Basim. This character was first introduced in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Basim is a street thief who joins the Hidden Ones to fight for peace and liberty against the order of the ancients who desire peace through control. The main narrative focuses on Basim's internal struggle between his duties as a hidden one and his desire to uncover his mysterious past. I have already covered it on my Steam Deck, 30 to 40 FPS is possible, but this game suffers from traversal stutters. Whenever you enter any new area for the first time, there will be a few hitches here and there. In this video, I will be testing the game on my ROG LR. I have the set for an extreme variant of this device. We will be running the game with AFMF2. AMD stable level implementation of frame generation. In order to use it on your ally, you just need to install AMD's GPU driver version 24.9.1. We'll be running the Ubisoft Connect version of the game. A Steam version of the game is still not available. See, October 2024. My ally is running on BIOS version 441. I've set the UMA buffer size to 6 GB. Using a 25 watts manual profile, all three power values set at 25 watts. 900p resolution CPU boost disabled. Connected my Gully Kit KK3 Max gamepad to LA via Bluetooth mode. Launch the game. Show you the adrenaline settings. FreeSync enable, VSync disable, AFMF2 disable for the time being. We'll be using adrenaline overlay to show you the performance metrics. There you go. In game settings 900p resolution refresh is set to 120Hz, VSync off, display mode full screen. Chromatic abrasion disabled. Graphic setting. Using the medium preset, we'll be targeting 45 to 60 FPS. Base FPS. Then I'll enable AFMF2 to double the FPS. And here are the settings that come with the medium preset. Game supports FSR2 upscaler. I've enabled it using its quality preset. We are in. And there's Basim. You can see the city of Baghdad in the background. Beautiful vistas. Art style of this game is just gorgeous. Game features an open world for us to explore. This game is not as big as Valhalla. Map is smaller. And just head to my objective. Press X key to follow the road. Press Y. Go to objective. Keep an eye on the FPS counter. Hitting the GPU bottleneck here, 60 to 70 FPS. This area is mostly empty, not very demanding on the GPU. The city area is more demanding due to the high NPC count. Just a desert. Oh my god, beautiful lighting and the birds in the background. In the city area, I'll be using AFMF2 to boost the performance. There's the entrance to Baghdad. 60 FPS. VRAM usage increased. Marketplace. Still getting good performance. Image quality is looking so sharp, 900p resolution using the quality preset of FSR2. Metal factory. So 50 to 60 FPS without AFMF2. Let's enable AFMF2 now. Open the game's adrenaline setting. Enable AFMF2. Status should be active. Search mode set to high. This prevents frame generation from getting disabled during fast visual motion. 
performance mode set to quality back to the game fps increased to around 100 here yeah, i can observe the added amount of smoothness game side elements are not flickering frame generation lag value 16 milliseconds only input delay is not a problem frame generation effect does not get disabled even during fast visual motion i'll just summon enkidu a bird we need to locate the quest objective yeah, it's nearby just follow the yellow circle reduce its size to pinpoint the location here yeah, somewhere found it show you some combat now i want it oh no should have tossed the attack this attack is variable yeah stun that guy <laughs> they blew the horn it's basically an alarm I'm surrounded not good yeah dodge by pressing the XE Ninety to hundred FPS even during combat. This guy is standing still. Kill him quickly. So just a few HS here and there. In the city area, FPS mostly set in the range of eighty to one hundred. Good experience on Rock LM with AFMF2. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.